Hello? Are we recording? Hi. So, today we are going to look at how to install Vivecraft for your computer. So, Vivecraft, if anyone doesn't know, is Minecraft VR. And um, the process has changed since the last video that I put out. So, we're going to be looking at how it is done in 2023. And we're going to be a little bit more clearer on the steps. Because there's a lot of comments that are a bit confused on how it's done. So stay tuned and very soon we'll be playing some Minecraft VR. Oh, what the hell? It spawned me in a tree. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Ow. Okay, let's get some wood. Before we start any of this, I'd just like to say it would help a lot if you started with a fresh installation of Minecraft Java and you did not have any mods because they are likely to mess around with this installation process. So start fresh. So let's head over to the guide, shall we? Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to vivecraft.org and then you're going to want to go to the download section. Make sure you pay attention to the requirements. So first and foremost, you're going to need Steam and you're going to need Java. Here you can click the latest Java install. So if I were to click this right now, it would take me to the Java website and I could download Java. Obviously Java is required to run the Java version of Minecraft. You also will require Steam and you're going to need Steam VR installed. So click this button head over to Steam, but I'm sure that if you guys have a VR headset and a PC, it's very likely you've already got Steam and Steam VR installed. But regardless, make sure these two processes are taken care of. And just to show you guys who might be confused, if you look at your Steam store page, this is what you're looking for. It's free. And this is what will connect your headset to Steam and to Steam games. Now you've installed Java and you've installed Steam and you've installed Steam VR. We're going to go back to Vivecraft and we're going to actually download Vivecraft itself. Scroll down the page and you will see the versions that you can download. I would recommend that you download the latest version. That's 19.2. So click on 19.2 and scroll all the way down and you will see the downloads. Now, make sure you do not download the top one. You want the VR version. The top one is non-VR. Now you need to run the file. So, if at this moment you are having problems running it and it says something along the lines of, uh, this is not the right program to run this file, what you need to do is actually right click the Vivecraft installer and set properties and under properties set run as Java. This is a Java file and Java will run it as an installer. Sometimes Photoshop or other programs can pick up a JSON file and think that it's a native file, but it's not. So make sure that this file is being run under Java. All right, so now you have the file running. Check the directory path to make sure that that is where your Minecraft is. Uh, and I would recommend that you install Vivecraft with Forge because that'll allow you to have greater modding capabilities later. Um, and then we will increase our RAM allocation. So I've got 32 gigs, so eight gigabytes is more than enough for me. Um, and I've set a custom profile name for VR so that I can play it in non-VR and in VR mode if I want. And we have to make sure that our Minecraft launcher is shut during this process. So I've just double checked. Yes, it is shut and it's going to give you a whole load of windows. We just push yes, yes, yes. Um, and it's going to take us to the installation of Forge. Now, make sure again that the directory is, in, is correct. We select client, not server, because we're not running a server. We're running at the actual client. Servers are for people who want to run servers that multiple people can join. This is more of a single player thing and it's going to run so it's going to install forge and it's also going to install a vr vivecraft profile so we just let that run for the moment
and that is it installed it'll tell you to restart your minecraft and to select vivecraft forge 1.19.2 vr which is the profile which we set up and that's pretty much it guys the rest of it is very very simple we are going to turn on our oculus and we are going to connect to oculus link which is going to connect the pc to the oculus now whether you do it wirelessly or whether you do it using um, oculus air link that's up to you but uh, i use oculus air link we're also going to start our minecraft launcher and we're going to go into installations here you can see forge vivecraft and the latest release now the latest release will just play normal minecraft on your desktop but the vivecraft forge vr version profile that you can see there is the one that we have just installed so once you are connected to airlink and you are in that white screen uh push launch and it will start to load up it's going to give you a little notice saying it doesn't recognize the software but that's fine just keep going and there we are guys we are now playing minecraft vr woohoo so you can actually uh have a look at some of your uh old games if you want but uh i'm going to create a new one and uh jump right in so that's it everything is there i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions please ask in the comment section i will try my very best to respond all i ask is have a look at some of the other comments because there are a lot of people who do troubleshooting make sure you have java installed because that seems to be the biggest issue <laughs> and uh above all else have fun guys if you found this guide interesting entertaining helpful any of that please drop us a subscription it helps the channel out it helps me out and uh, it helps you stay tuned to more content that will be similar to this i plan on dropping some vr mod guides shortly and uh yeah just uh have a good day guys